Oh, please change game packs now. Oh, pretty good. Yes, and this is the Game Boy Player, everybody. Anyway, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mitch McKid, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. And today we are going to be playing Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Released in 1989, this game pretty much is the handheld equivalent of Super Mario Brothers, but only except with four worlds and with three stages in them. And right off the bat, this kind of looks like Super Mario Brothers, only except in a handheld console. So to be fairly honest, I have to say, this game, I had a huge, great childhood memory with this game, but it wasn't until the late 90s when I got my first Game Boy. Now, that was the Game Boy Pocket, with this game and Super Mario Land 2, although I will say Super Mario Land 2 actually was much better than this. But we definitely don't want to throw in this game, because it's actually still a pretty good game this game is. So you've got the usual power-ups, you've got the, the mushroom, the fire flower, and of course the star man. But the star man of course has a different invisibility theme, yep, it's the can can. Mario's doing the can can tonight. So for this one being reason, Super Mario Land is of course maybe a little bit different than Super Mario, um, Super Mario Brothers, but to be fairly honest, I have to say, the game to the goal, the goal is pretty much different this time around. You have a bottom and a top room. The bottom room takes you to the second stage instantly, whilst the top room actually gets you to a bonus game where you can compete for the lives and of course a power up. You've got one, two or three lives but if you don't miss them you actually have to settle for the fire flower which is a power up. Pretty much useful in the later stages the fire flower is but getting more lives is pretty much more more important this time around. Trying to get more lives is pretty much better, gives you a better chance of winning the game rather than rather than just defeating them. <sighs> I'm pretty much saying that this is kind of, this is kind of a good game this is. So I'm sorry about some of my, um, my delays of the uh, GLP, but to be fairly honest, I have to say, it's just a bit of a, I just think that I have a few things that I was trying, find it hard to say, right, because this game is actually pretty good. So with that being said, this is probably going to be my shortest LP out there. And I died my first. First death of the game. Yes, sometimes making precise jumps can be a bit of a difficult thing. Pretty much like in Super Mario Brothers. That was the same. That's the same issue as well. However, I do actually have a few um, hairy moments in this LP, especially in the later stages. But like I said, this is going to be my shortest LP because there's only four worlds and three levels in each. So and gaining lives is pretty easy as well. Because if you get to the top, you'll be stacking up lives in no time. But you might need it for the later stages, because there are some pretty frustrating moments in this game, despite it being short. Alright, what have I got this time? Only one life. Oh, and this one is, of course... Oh, welcome to the first boss step stage of the game. In each of the, whenever you get to the third stages, you go to a boss area where you have to defeat all the bosses. Defeating, defeating the boss takes you to the next world. This is pretty much similar to that of the um, original Super Mario Brothers, only except you've got, you've, you've instead got not so bells at this time around, but different bosses like a lion, you've got a squid, you've got a... What was it? A Easter Island head, and of course, you've got the uh, boss itself. Let me have a look, so actually. I'm actually looking in Wikipedia to see who the antagonist of this game is, because Bowser wasn't in any of the Super Mario Land games. Right, here we go. So, of course. This one, of course. This one, of course. Uh, which one is it? Tatanga. Tatanga. Yes, that's it. Tatanga, the mysterious space man, has. There's a new. Um, two new characters are introduced in this game. Tatanga, which is the only game this boss has ever appeared in, and Princess Daisy, her first ever game. 
Well, do anybody know that? Hi, I'm Daisy Bing. Well, guess what? That is Princess Daisy. This is Daisy's first game. While Tatanga never appeared in another game ever again. Just uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, defeating the bosses like that can be a bit annoying because of the um, no sound effect. And where did the um, noise, where did that explosion noise occur? I already defeated the boss. Yes, whenever you defeat the boss with fireballs, you actually get 50, a 5,000 5, point bonus. Thank you, Mario! Oh, Daisy! And Daisy gets turned into a fly. A bouncing fly. Who goes off the screen? Right, what have we got this time? Three lives! So the first, so that was the first world, so now we're off to the second world, which is a water theme level. The last one was like a, like an Egyptian style level, well, first one, first one, the second one is like water theme now. So the similar, so the similar world which would have the, um, the, um, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Land theme would be, a uh, World 3, uh, Part 1. But unfortunately though, that's where it all ends, because instead, World 2 and 4 are the only ones with a different music instead of do 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 or the do 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 sounds. This one's the only one with the, uh, sound, this one is the only one with its own music, as with World 4, but we'll get to that next part. So we got all this fish. What? Oh, they got bony fish. Oh, I remember. Oh, there's a story I know. Whenever I went to Newground, when I was in college days, right? And this is what happened. I actually watched a flash with uh, with that was when one of my friends, so I, one of my friends from college, actually introduced me to Newgrounds, and I saw Super Mario Land, which was a flash movie, a flash movie based on the game of the same name. Pretty much, there was the bony fish. I did the Homer Simpson doll, and it, the first one went do do do. Pretty much in like the underground theme from Super Mario Brothers, with the music at the background. And that was pretty, and that was pretty well synced as well. Oh, for God's sake, what did that hit me? If that hit me, and I couldn't even avoid it. I know that might be my fault, but. Eh. Anyway, we've done the f uh, the first stage of the game. Yeah. Time, time. Right, what have we got this time? We've got three lives. Another three lives. That could be handy for the later stages, because because in the next part I die a lot. In the in the next world there was a lot of uh, cheapness in world three. I got kind of found free at the hardest uh, level in the get hardest world in the game, the third one, Miles Spinning. I know a lot of people would disagree with me, but that's what I feel about World Three at the moment. World, well, the other worlds are pretty straightforward, especially World Four and World Two. <sighs> now I can't go in that pipe, so that's pretty bad. And also, those ro you can actually uh, destroy the robot. Uh, Destroy the robot heads and pretty much get some more. Pretty much get a good score. He'll just resurrect his his head will respawn. So, so so don't even think about hitting his head because it will only come back anyway. Right, what's we got? We haven't got anything. I uh, don't want to bounce on his head in case I get hit. Uh, got hit by a bloody goomba as well. Oh, there should be an invisible block here somewhere. Oh, I don't know where is it? Or should I, uh... Oh, it was there. So, yeah. No oh, dear. Sometimes some of those invisible blocks can be uh, inconsistent as well. Consi some of the invisible blocks in the bonus stages can be inconsistent as well. No. Now, there's two methods of doing this. To do that or go up on these steps. But if you don't get on those steps, that means you've lost your chance to get to the bonus game in this sort of level. Okay, so what have we got this time? Fire flower! Yes! That's kind of handy for this one. So welcome to the first of the two vehicle stages. 
Uh, according to the Wikipedia article, we've got the marine pop, which is a submarine instead of walking in these underwater levels. We've got, also got a sky stage, which Mary flies in a sky pop, but that's for the next part. As you can probably tell, this is one of the this this stage isn't that bad. You can actually destroy any um you can destroy any bot anything with the submarine pop and the marine the marine and sky pop. But that being said, you can actually uh, destroy them using a um using projectiles you can actually shoot out. You can also destroy they all can also be useful for destroying blocks as well. But watch out for some of those enemies because they can actually blindsight you. Whatever you got. When you have a mushroom. Oh, my goodness, I didn't. Oh, I just uh, got this. Can I get it? Can I get it? No, I can't get that mushroom. Unfortunately, with those vehicle levels, that meant sacrificing the fire flower as well. But you could also get Starman as well. The only power up. Yeah, the only power up you could actually get in order to take a hit. You will definitely. You only get the mushroom power up wise. Other than the Starman. Yes, got it. Well, this is gonna be a bit of an annoying part. Why did I do that? But of course, we've defeated that seahorse. No, it wasn't a squid. It was a seahorse who shoots out fire. I don't know why I said squid. I think it might be a mistake on my part. Oh well. The first half of the game is finished. Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. Oh, no. and Daisy turns into a squid, or an octopus, as some of you may know it as. Mm. Anyway, what have we got? Oh, we got another fire flower. Okay, so with that being said, let's pause this game. And with that being said, this is the end of the first half of Super Mario Land, and I hope you've enjoyed it. So until next time, it's me, Mitch McKids, signing out, and I'll see you guys next time for when we take on the second half of Super Mario Land. Good grief, I'm really going to struggle on World 3 next time. <laughs>